All right, folks, and welcome back to Affinity Designer. So with this one, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do that really cool cutaway effect that's popular right now. So in your downloads for this section, I've included yet another photo from pexels.com. Let's go ahead and open it. All right. So if you find it there, it's going to be this woman right here. It's got the girl with the, uh, the different color paint on her. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to work with text in order to create an integrated piece of art. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to grab the rectangle tool. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to pull a rectangle. Now you can use any color you want. You're going to want to split it in two and you'll notice I have snapping on. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the text tool. We're going to grab the text tool. And we're going to go ahead and drag out, let's call it, let's go visualize. Now, I like to use a nine letter word because I think aesthetically it's pleasing. You've got the three by three, so you really have that square look to it. And so when we get this right, and I take that extra U out of here, you've got a very nice three by three. Now, we're going to be in different font. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to crank this up to something in the Franklin area. So I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to go over to my Franklin Gothic Medium. I think that that is very clean, very modern, and the black and white looks really good. And now I'm going to leave myself a little bit of a border here. So you see I'm not pulling the text all the way to the top, nor all the way to the bottom. All right, and I'm going to leave myself a little bit of a border here. Okay, so I think I'm in pretty good shape there. Now, this takes use of a technique that we've already done 100 times before. With this selected, you're now going to come up, and you know what? We can do something even a little bit sooner with this here. Let's go here. Let's go to the character panel. And let's go ahead now and reduce this a little bit. All right, I think we're in pretty good shape there. So now let's go ahead and shrink that. Now we get a little bit more dynamics in there. All right, overall, I'm happy with that. So when we do this part, we're now going to come over, we're gonna to go to layer, and we're gonna to convert to curves. Now, you've seen this show before. We're gonna grab all the curves out of the group and we're going to move them out of the group. And then we're going to delete said group. We don't need it anymore. Now, we select the rectangle. And we select all of our curves. And now we're going to come up and we're going to do a subtraction operation. And away it goes. Now, you'll see that we've got a little bit of holdover still. What we're going to do now, we make sure that the curve is selected. I'm going to come over to my transparency tool and I'm gonna pull transparency across this image. And then I'm gonna to adjust to this middle slider until I'm just at the edge. And then if I did this right, I should get this really nice V to the U to the I. And you'll see that it's still there. You can definitely see it, but it's going to be very subtle. So that is a very easy way to create this integrated text that is so popular. And then if you decide to do something more with it, you can always take this even a little bit further over and stretch it halfway across the face. All right, folks, that's a little bit on this particular technique. It's very simple, but it's very powerful. And I'll tell you what, integrated photography like this along with text is very popular this year. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.